But thank you all so much for coming here today. So, um, well... Hey, we can't hear you at all. Can't you speak a bit louder? <gasps> I'm so, so, so sorry. I do declare, sirs and madams, that this meeting of the Seven Sages will now commence. Don't talk like a fool. She just stutters otherwise. If she thinks that kind of speech is cute at her age, yikes! A at my age? Oh dear. I know I'm not exactly the youngest thing around, but... Okay, enough, cutie pies. If you tease her about it too much, it's just cruel. Can't we hurry this meeting up? I'm a very busy man with a very busy schedule to keep. Who even called this meeting? I traveled a long way, so if this is stupid, someone will die. Um, the one who called today's meeting was me. Get out of town! You? I'm sorry about that. It was impudent of me to call you all here. Your attitude will never fly in the corporate world, since you take forever to get to the point. Still, having little Ray give us a call is rare. Something big must have happened. Yes, something has. I can't confirm the info, and I haven't done a thorough check, but the credibility is still... Enough procedural nonsense. Out with it. Oh, okay. Actually, a new CPU has appeared in Planetune. What? Are you certain of this? Rather, had appeared. Or may have appeared, it seems. Or... So it feels. Speak with certainty. Speak with unbridled passion. It appeared! A new CPU appeared in Planetune! I can't be asked to believe it just yet. But if true, this is a big deal indeed. Planetune, huh? What do you make of this? That backwater little place gets two CPUs? I could never believe such stupid gossip. Say what you like, but it's completely true. Maybe. So who's your informant? How'd you get this info? Uh, that's, uh, well... Nobody in my network has fed me anything like that. I hate to say it, but I highly doubt that little Ray here could get information before me. Well, um, that is to say, due to some profound circumstances... I will only warn you once. If you attempt to deceive me, you had better be prepared to die. There's no way I'd ever try to deceive you. It's... it's just not possible. Still, it needs verification. It's quite the shocker, if true. A shock it got by me, that is. Oh, um, I'm sorry. How would you verify this dumb gossip? I'd rather pick belly length than follow up on this lead. For these kinds of blue-collar situations, I think we all know who would be appropriate. Speaking of lesser beings, that loudmouth brat isn't with us today. It's a welcome change of pace. Her shrieking pops my eardrums. Uh, actually, I let her know before we had this meeting. Then she ran off without hearing the rest of my report. <laughs> Impatient little twerp. Either way, it simplifies matters. We'll just wait for her to get back and then discuss further. So we wait for now, huh? I hope it isn't a waste of time. And here I wanted to hurry back to the office and work more. Oh, hey, I'm starved. When do the caterers get here? Yeah, it's only polite for the one who called the meeting to provide the attendees with food. H huh? But... Whenever any of you called one, there wasn't even a pitcher of water. You want to say that again? Do you have some kind of anti-hospitality disease? No, not at all. I'll prepare something right away. Oh, I see. These seven sages are the villains this time around. Were you really listening? Are you sure you understand? Why so skeptical? I definitely said, oh, I see. Okay, then paraphrase what I just went over with you. Ooh, 
here comes a new challenger! I'll gladly face you, player two. Those seven whatevers don't like CPUs ruling the nations and whine a lot and say bad stuff, right? So far, so good. Therefore, I conclude that those folks are the bad guys. Ta-da! Flawless victory! You cut out the whole second half! It's not that simple! I knew you weren't listening to me! Aw, okay. You got me. Hmm? Neppy gave the wrong answer? <sighs> Don't tell me you weren't aware of this either. Um, that one girl who goes around saying mean things is one of them, right? I don't like her. And you clearly only get about half of the situation, too. Fine. I'll explain again. I might even talk longer this time, so make a sandwich and listen. Aw, really? Can't we, like, mash through the boring stuff with the X button? I'm not very good at mashing. I prefer the skip function. So let's press the square button. You will listen to my plot advancing lecture! Got it? Okay. Okay. The Seven Sages are a mysterious group consisting of seven key members. Their platform advocates proper laws and claims that CPUs aren't needed to rule a nation. Of course, because they believe that, they're against the very existence of CPUs. Ever since Plutia created Planetune, they've caused trouble many times. Their operations are said to have started 10 years ago. Any more info is vague and pretty sparse. As for the sages themselves, only one is known to appear in public. It's even rumored they're involved in criminal activities behind the scenes, but there's no proof. And that thing I said about them having some connection to Louis? Yeah, that's just another rumor. But apparently, a good number of people agree with their line of thought. So it's not 100% certain whether they're truly evil or not. So, that was a pretty amazing summary. Did you get all that? Uh... Hmm. Ugh, you're both a waste of carbon. Whatever. I suddenly feel exhausted. Ah! Clutie, did you hear that? Noir just gave up on us. Aw, don't give up on us. You two are so noisy. Just look up the stupid Nepkedia entry later. Noir, you're such an ice queen. And your explanations are so roundabout and hard to understand. That's a fact. It's easier on our noggins to call them the bad guys. The, uh, um, the seven nutmegs. The seven nutmegs are evil. Seven sages? Jeez, how could you forget that name so fast? Get back! I found you! Whoa! Who's this broad? Flutie, we have a visitor. And speak of the tiny devil. It's that meanie. Uh-huh. So you're the one. Hmm. I see. Hmm. Well, what's with that look? I feel like you're undressing me with your eyeballs. Ew. Wait. They're targeting Neptune? In that case, sorry, but I don't feel like getting in their way. Oh, me too. Sorry, Neppy. What? You two are gonna leave my party? Come on, don't do that. I guess you could say she's a teen, but her body isn't developed, so little girl it is. Inconceivable. A girl smaller than me just called me a little girl? would allow such a young and naive little girl to be a CPU. It's unjust. It's brutish. It violates international law. I'll never forget Platitude. Yikes. Now she's got rabies or something. Ugh, lame. Why do I gotta sit and nod while a little girl makes fun of me? I've never seen her before. Did you just call me 
A little girl? Y y you're the little girl, you little girl! If that's your killer comeback, you're definitely a little girl. Plus, you said it to me first. And yet, your comebacks are just as childish. I'll not stand for this, you brutish little wench! Oh, you want to challenge me to a duel? I won't lose in a cat fight. for me. You need about a hundred years to improve those little girl insults. Huh? So you say, but all you do is call me little girl. Ooh, I think Neppy is winning. More like her opponent is embarrassingly weak. Instead of playing along, she just smacked her in the mouth. No way I could have done that. I, I can't believe it. You're so cruel to a little girl. That's illegal. I won't forget this. You just admitted to being a little girl. I guess I win. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, that was just... <laughs> I knew you were just a little baby girly girl. I win, I win. I am the coolest. <laughs> Nappy, that might have been a... Too much gloating. She's so immature, celebrating her victory over a child like that. Are you two gonna fight me too? You abandoned me, so I had to fight back. I had no choice. Now, now, don't cry. Be a good little girl. Geez, looks like Neptune had her claws out. There's a blood smear. Poor little thing. Why do I feel ostrich-sized? Don't touch me! I won't be cared for by my enemies! Ouchies! Don't get an attitude! We're just trying to help! Shut your stupid mouth! So, Neptune, I see you've shown your true colors. You're more like a caged animal, not a CPU. You are a terrible role model for this little girl. You started it. But I'm not a little girl. You came here, made a big fuss over nothing, and then tossed around these false accusations. Shut up! I'm on a mission to protect every single child in the whole wide world. That means I am in the right. Anyone who opposes me is a big pedophile and a gross fetishist. Um, worst logic ever. More importantly, that woman's information was correct. To think you can stand up to me. But weren't you the one who started falling? It was a flawless victory for Nappy. Shut up, I said! Well, I saw all that I needed to. You're the new CPU here, right? Ooh. Has my awesome reputation reached even this little girl who I've never seen before? I'm flattered, but if I get too famous, my private life will... <gasps> too much charisma is a curse. She's not the CPU. What? Uh, Moir, don't be such a downer. She totally thought that I was the CPU. But she's right. You can't even transform. What? Oh, not you too, Plutie. You shouldn't crush a poor little girl's dreams like that. You're not the CPU? Then how did I lose? Because you're weak. Maybe because you're weak. Less bark and bite than a doggoo. You didn't catch it? Neptune. Neptune. I won't forget that name. Oh, hang on, kid. I think it's rude to adults when you demand a name without giving your own. <laughs> Fine. I'll only tell you once, so listen good. I am the Seven Sages Idol and Advertising Executive. You may call me Agnes.
introductory graphic text? What the heck, developers? I didn't get one when I appeared. I can't wait to talk all about this at the next Seven Sages meeting. If we seriously tried, we could take this nation over in a second. Prepare yourselves! And she ran away. It's so not fair that she gets a cool logo. She's just some weak kid. But seriously, the Seven Sages accepted someone that weak? Maybe they're all pushovers. Well, if you assume they're all like that girl, sure. But we don't know anything about the others. It's so good you're here, Nappy. Every other time she comes, that girl teases me over and over. Sometimes idiots are useful because they don't understand insults. Every tool has its use. <laughs> it was nothing. Wait, was that even a compliment, Noir? Sure, why not? We'll depend on you when she shows up to get her revenge. Please protect us, Nappy. Uh, um, okay. It's nice to be relied on, but I feel like I'm getting taken advantage of. 